Hello, G Nation. We are live with a brand new blog. And we might get some gameplay later on, too. How are you guys doing? I'm definitely doing better than last week, that's for sure. Not that it's hard to beat. <laughs> yeah, my blood sugar was fine like three, four hours after the stream last time. It was really, really bad. Like, I was not doing well for that stream. I only did it because no one else was available at the time, so. <laughs> when someone was available, I checked out. <laughs> I'm doing better. Even my coughing, like, I'm still coughing, like, but a lot less because I actually saw the doctor again uh, earlier this week. And my bronchitis actually evolved to a pulmonary, pulmonary infection, which I got a whole bunch of antibiotics for, but it's finally getting better. So I will still cough, but I should be able to finish my sentences. As you can probably see, it already sounds better. So, I see that some of you got part of the new character, right? It is indeed a zombie. You got that part, right? I'm seeing some zombie Bray. The dude's been back for a week. Takes like a year to make a character. So, yeah, it's not zombie Bray. I can tell you that much. <laughs> <coughs> It is a female. Zombie Liv, Zombie Bianca, Zombie Becky, Zombie Alexa, Bailey, Steph. I doubt you'll ever see a Zombie China. So far with zombies, they, they stayed away from characters from uh, wrestlers that are not alive anymore for, I'm assuming, obvious reasons. Zombie Ronda. You're hoping to get a zombie female not on a showdown weekend? I mean, a lot of people have issues with their uh, female roster that is not high enough or not good enough. And I think it's great to have a female on a scrimmage event, which, spoiler alert, it is. Because uh, those are uh, among the easiest to get. Because even if you can't max it on the actual event, you usually get more than three quarter of the way there. And you can get the rest on the following uh, scrimmage event. So those are definitely among the easiest ones to get. So email should help a lot of people. Coaches that create more blast gem. Well, actually, JBL is not a coach. JBL is a trainer. The only coach that adds more blast gem is uh, Rey Mysterio. As far as trainer, you got JBL and Rusev. Rusev's not available anymore, again, for obvious reasons. Barracks with the rate of 35. Hello. Hello, everyone. Thank you, Marix. Yeah, I need some facial treatments. I should steal some of my wife's 40 fucking creams that she got that all cost 30 bucks for 10 milliliters. Yet she keeps getting older, so that's a waste. I keep telling her it can't revert what you already did. <laughs> yeah, I'm not saying that. <laughs> well, I'm good. She never watched any of my content. She doesn't get well, YouTube and streaming and all those stuff. <laughs> All right, let's get on with the blog. Actually, let's see what my multiplier is today. I got a five yesterday. 
Eh, back to four. I'm kind of excited about those now because you get moment currency out of that, and eventually I'll need those. We will be getting a, a few, I haven't heard, I think Marek said it a few, what, last week? But uh, we're going to be getting some moments for the zombies sometime this month. I don't know if it's going to be for new ones, old one. Is it going to include only zombies or zombies and other character? No clue whatsoever. Just know there's going to be some for zombies too. <coughs> <coughs> All right. Blog. This. When's the blog? Right now. Hello, G Nation. It's me, F, because I come before G, and we are live from the newsroom, aka the G Cave, and we got some brand new information right from Scopely for WWE Champion, a new blog. Now, as with every single blog, keep in mind, every information on it is subject to change. <laughs> Yes, it is. Whether it's a typo, a cut and paste error, or simply some information that were changed last minute, it's not G's fault. He's just reading what's on it at the time. So without further ado, back to you, G. Thanks, F. And there you go. It is the EST in peace showdown scrimmage or the Est in Peace Showdown Scrimmage. It is Bianca. Let's read that. Just to be sure it's up to date. All right, let's go through it. The EST in Peace Showdown Scrimmage. Hey champions, after joining the Undead Army, the EST in WWE is now in peace, ready to wield her new Braid Blade against anyone that still has brain. Play showdown and tours to unlock her with shards in milestones and grab bags. Redeem medallions for scrimmage rewards on the prize wall. Please note, screenshots are taken from a test environment, text numbers and dates are subject to change. Now to schedule, the EST in Peace Showdown Scrimmage is going to be on the 14th at noon Pacific until the 17th at noon Pacific. The Showdown Tournament, which is going to be female first and male second, is going to be on the 15th at noon Pacific until the 16th at 4 p.m. Pacific. Now the available shards, which as you can see right now, she is a trickster. Solo Contest has 700 for free, 300 in premium. Limited time tour as 600 for 650 for free. Web milestone 100 premium. Offer bag 150 premium. Stamp card 25 for free, 25 premium. Flagship offer, which I'm not entirely sure what that means. That might be the prize wall, but it's listed as 50 premium. Technically, the prize wall, they're pretty cheap and you can get them for free. So keep in mind those 50 might actually switch in that column right there. But the overall is 1375 or 1425 if I'm right, out of 1600 for free and up to 2000 out of 1600 needed for premium. The solo contest compete in the showdown tournament to earn EST and peace shard bags, prize wall medallions and shards for brand new zombie Bianca. Climb iron milestones for more prize wall medallions, which you can redeem for the new Bianca's Braid Blade skill plate. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Earn all available regular rewards and enjoy 700 free shards for Bianca Belair EST in peace. It should be EST in pieces. That would have been even a better title. Like pieces, not peace. Claim a free contest point on the portal. That's going to be worth some point. Earn a Bianca Belair EST in peace shards in the challenge match tour. That's going to be worth some more. Spend one EST in peace loot coin at 
2,750 points. Then your first ENT in peace loot coin, 27.5k once. Win a EST in peace showdown match with any zombie, 15,060 times. A showdown match with any powerhouse, 13,020 times. Any striker, 13,020 times. Any trickster, 13,020 times. Uh, with Rhea Ripley, Rickering Nightmare, obviously Zombie Rhea, 7,010 times. Roman Reigns, This Is My Graveyard, 7,010 times. Asuka, Empress of Yesterday, 7,010 times. Stacy Keebler, Super Stacy, 13.5k five times. Mankind, It Came From The Boiler Room, 13.5k five times. And the Unmortal, Hulk Hogan, 13.5 times, five, uh, 13 K points five times. So pretty much all zombie except Super Stacy out of nowhere there, but that's probably because there's really not that many female zombies anyway to begin with. So that is it there. Now remember you can double dip and add them like B, for example, if you go with uh which one there? Trickster striker. Well, it doesn't really fit, but if you go with well, if you go with Asuka, she's a striker, so it will count for Asuka. For striker and for zombie, so you're going to be triple dipping for that one. Uh, Earn showdown 15 points each, no limit. Rhea is a PH for two, yeah, you're right. Uh, no, Rhea is a striker, I think. Or is she? No, the, new, the newer one is a striker. Uh, early unlock bonus recruit Bianca Belaria CNP is the first 24 hours. 500k once and a max milestone is 6 million pretty similar build from the previous scrimmage normally those ain't the uh ain't the artist event although they are when you want to max it but as far as reaching the max shards for free normally not really hard uh three esc and piece premium bags 16 esc and piece basic bags 75 Bobby Lashley Dominator Shards. That was the uh, that was the scrimmage superstar last month. The eleven thousand one hundred and eighty-five EST and P scrimmage medallion. Three hundred Dominic Mysterio Evo tokens. Fifty Rey Mysterio Mascara de la Muerte Shards. Four thousand seven hundred and seventy-five Undead Uprising Solo points. Three thousand one hundred twenty-five Undead Uprising keys. Two five-star diamond tokens. Three five-star gold tokens. Three five star silver tokens, three four star gold tokens, eleven million one hundred and fifty thousand coins, and five hundred and thirty TP. Now the additional rewards, aka the stuff you got to spend money to reach. Two hundred and twenty-five Bobby Lashley Dominator shards, one hundred and twenty K ESC and P scrimmage medallions, three ESC and P premium bags, twenty-two five star emerald tokens. 16 five-star gold tokens, two five-star silver tokens, 15 four-star gold tokens, 50 million coins, and 3.7k TP. All right, the top 200 leaderboard reward, one up to five-star silver Bianca Belair EST and Peace for the top 20. 1,000 Bianca Belair EST and P shards, 5 5 star emerald tokens, 3 legendary modern strap with guaranteed bonus, 2 random legendary strap with eye bonus chance, and 15 million coins. Faction Contest. Play the limited time tour and town up your superstars for EST and P's bags and a chance at top zombies and humans, contest points, and resources. Claim free contest point every day on the portal. That's going to be worth some points. Play the limited time tour for more faction points. We'll see those below. Spend one L pack, a point each, up to 100k. Increase talent of any zombie, four point each, up to 500k. Increase the talent of any tricksters, two point each, no limit. Call it EST prize wall medallion, one point each, no limit. And the max milestone is 10 million. Now remember, this is for the faction event. Out of rewards, 11 ESC and Peace contest chess, which we see here as the uh, a bunch of the zombies in them as well as their shards. 
500k ESCNP solo contest points, three random legendary straps with eye bonus chance, 1,790 undead uprising solo points, 8,435 undead uprising faction points, 200 undead uprising prize world coins, one five star diamond tokens, one five star gold token, one five star silver token, uh, 4.3 million coins, 200 TP, and that's about it. Top 100 leaderboard, three legendary modern era straps with guaranteed bonus, four five star emerald tokens, and five random tier four medals. On the limited time tour, complete the chapters in this limited time tour to earn Bianca Belair EST in peace. Shard bag, a uh, shard, grab bag, solo and faction contest points, tokens, and resources. If you clear everything, you can get 650 shards of Bianca Belair ESC in peace, including grab bags. Friday is going to be the challenge match, which is the same difficulty for all modes. Any Bianca Belair EST in peace on normal. Uh, that doesn't make sense. Is it? It's probably just Bianca Belair EST in peace and not any Bianca. Because that's normally the special. Let me just take a screenshot of that. Get it fixed ASAP. Okay. So likely only Bianca Belair EST in peace on normal any zombie on art and any Rhea rip again probably not any Rhea replay recurring nightmare on l i assume as well two friday dead walking sasha banks legit dead boss and stacy keebler super stacy Saturday, the Horde returns for zombies with Dominic Mysterio, Unfortunate Son. And Sunday, Heartbreak Couples, Modern Era with Any Montez Ford and Any Bianca Belair. Rewards 200 Bianca Belair EST in Peace shards, 3 EST in Peace premium bags, those are the ones with 100 TP in them, 6 EST in Peace basic bags. I haven't seen a screenshot of those. Usually it's either 20 or 25. 300 EST in peace solo points. 51,003 EST in peace faction points. 7,422 undead uprising faction points. 2,985 undead uprising solo points. One six star bronze token, which is usually on the Bianca node. Three five star emerald tokens, one five star diamond tokens, three five star gold tokens, two four star gold tokens, three four star silver tokens, seven million one hundred and thirty one thousand eight hundred seventy five coins, and three hundred and thirty TP. That Okay, now the showdown scrimmage shop. Redeem your medallions for superstar shards you might have missed in a previous scrimmage contest. It helps you unlock superstars or get specific tier shards for a six star conversion. Collect enough medallions in the solo contest milestones to get the brand new Bianca's Braid Blade skill plate. We see it here. Now it does not list what it does though. Test environment, the items and costs are subject to change. So we see that here. There's a 50 shards of her right there, which I was talking about earlier. There's the previous scrimmage plates as well. Now the shards, Bianca Belair EST in peace, Bobby Lashley Dominator, British Bulldog SummerSlime 92, Jimmy Uso Bloodline, Ronda Rousey Baddest, Seamus King Seamus and Carmella Untouchable. Those are the shards. Scale plate. Oh, there you go. 
The Bianca's Braid Blade is whenever you make six or more X Break gems, increase all your gem damage by 100% for two turns. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good blade for the X Gem, uh, X Break gem guy. The Bulldog's Bracer, Uso Cap, Dead Man Sigil, and Mela Mask. Now items, you're going to have 6-star bronze tokens, coins, trickster token bundle, legendary zombies trap chance bonus, and legendary zombies trap guaranteed bonus. Now the 5-star gold loot, the zombie S loot await. Get brand new Bianca Belair at 5-star gold along with other beautiful undead and human superstars such as Triple H the Skull King, Stacy Kleebler, Super Stacy, Mankind It Came From The Burler Room, and many more. Now the WWChampions.com exclusive, aka Portal exclusive, earn awesome bonus rewards in the EST and Peace contest. Every $1 spent rewards progress toward amazing milestone rewards. Basically, that means every bucks you spend gets you closer to a reward. Doesn't mean you get a reward for every dollar. Get up to 68 million bonus points, two six-star bronze tokens, 200 Ken Shamra, Master of the Ankle Lock Shards, four total domination bags, and more. Get an extra chance at a four-star gold Bianca Belair EST in peace in the firm giveaway that will be up later. And uh, that's pretty much it. Seems pretty similar to the usual, usual scrimmage events. Normally those are pretty well liked. Uh, where was it saying? It it will. I'm guessing it's probably gonna be. Uh, it's probably gonna be Ray and not Shamrock, indeed. I don't remember where it was though, or I would make a. Ah, there it is. Flag it anyway. I was just told that that last part still need a bit of editing, so I'm assuming that's what he was talking about. But we'll send it anyway. All right, so that's pretty much it for the blog. Again, Bianca is a trickster. Let's get back in the game. You reload the game to see if she is in game now. Probably not. Well, the blog is not live yet, Grandmaster. This is a pre-blog. Pre -blog. The blog goes live in an hour and a half. What are my thoughts on the boss battle overall? Well, I mean, obviously people had a bunch of issues which are still live. Other than that, if you had people with the right character, it was a pretty damn easy one. I was done in an hour. But obviously with all the technical issues, if you didn't have someone with a kick-ass character to do it, that made it pretty hard. I don't know what ring I'm at right now. I'm still 35. I did the four level 20s and uh, I had uh, I did a bunch of extra to help people too. Yeah, 220 actually 220s was more than what you needed to max it. Like 220s were uh, 12 million and you needed what to max it? 11. So like 120 and 119 was probably enough. But I mean, getting the getting the twenty is usually the hard part because you need you, you can't just go in with any guys to to win a twenty. You need the right comp. My lineup, well, 
won't see much out of my lineup. I don't even, it's not even my current lineup I got now because I moved out KO to do stipulation tours. But what I used, I used Sean, I used Lashley, I used Dominic, and here I used KO instead of Seth. I, if you wanted to complete them easy mode, you needed KO, ideally, ideally two key KOs at six stars with a proper build and someone actually knows how the fuck to use them. And also uh, one, just, just one six star Nakamura was enough to carry three people. Like showboat Nakamura at six star was like amazing for this. Obviously there's not that many of those around. <laughs> I think we had two in the fat in the whole faction. Uh, Dumb is not that good in, in in boss mode. No, he is useful. Like he's he's not going to be carrying anyone, but you won't be carried per se because you'll have some use. Well, first he can do some damage, not anything that will put you on any damage leaderboard, obviously, but is Ability is where, because like level 20 guys, you got to get your shit together. You, you can't just go in and like balls to the walls and think you're going to achieve anything. You won't do shit. You got to get your shit together. Six star, uh, level 20, you got to have those boss breaker ability. Those are a big deal. Like if you're using like, uh, for example, if you're using KO, well, KO, he has the whatever negate ability, how, how would they call it? The uh, neutralize ability. Remove one most recent buff stack that have been applied to the boss cooldown 100 seconds. Mine is only level 6 right now because I'm low on, on uh, breaker uh, currency. But starting level 6 is where you want it. Because that means you can take out the whole shield, which means you don't have to bring in people that will break the shield because you don't care. You're going to break it yourself with the neutralize. That's pretty damn useful for, uh, for Dominic. He has the healing ability here. The helping end deals 275,000. Uh, no, is that a, Yeah. Deal 275,000 damage to the boss. Don't really care about that, but heals the two lowest Health teammates by 25% of the player's max HP. Obviously, that increased the higher level it is. Mine is level 7 right now. But that means you can you have people that can stay in the fight longer, which is pretty useful, especially if you got people with 5-star golds instead of 6-stars, because obviously not everyone has 6-stars to do that. So sometimes you're going to have to go with 5-star gold. If you don't have a 5-star gold, don't even bother. You're not even going to be close to being useful for a uh, level 20. Like maybe you'll be able to, like if you're the one getting carried, it doesn't matter what you're bringing because anyway, you're not going to be doing anything. The others all will be doing it for you. But if you're going in expecting to be useful, five star silver won't. of which I got to do my stipulation mode. Now, you know, stipulation mode, that is a mode that I'm looking pretty forward for the speed of battle because I hate doing stipulation mode. I got ADHD. It kills me to spend 30 minutes on this. Obviously, I don't go for a leaderboard. It would be a different story. Like if you go for a leaderboard, you probably don't want to use autoplay. But if you just want to get your stars and be done with, that's probably good for that. I use KO for this. I use KO for all of them. I don't care what color they are. Standard moves, the two trap move, and I use the uh, blast gem move because I'm using the Andre plate. Those are my trainers. I got uh, Santa here just so I don't need an MP trainer. And then I got Gallows and uh, Jinder to make more traps. Also another tra trap from Dragon. 
and I got the Andrea plate here. Now, if you just do this to get your three stars, obviously it doesn't matter, but this gives me a lot more damage. Again, I'm you're never gonna see me in leaderboards, but uh, I'll well, you might see me in the bottom under it or something like that, but uh, it gives me more. I don't have the, I don't have like Fury two medals on him or anything. I think I only have one set of level for you fury 2 right now and they're like the first four i got i'm super low on metals to le on the uh, on metal parts to level my metals like the last metal i masked maxed cost me almost three million for one with the horrible rng i was getting Oh, you're right. I forgot to switch a trainer uh, shoe. <laughs> normally I switch gallows for... Uh, yeah, normally I switch gallows for... Uh, I forgot. I, I normally switch gallows for... Uh, sh uh, not Shamrock, but... Uh, APA Bradshaw to get those eight. You're right, yeah. So this one won't really work. <laughs> I forgot. I had the double tra trap set up. But... Uh, I actually don't know. Um, I, uh, my Nakamura is too low, so I didn't really bother to check what build they were using, uh, Realtor. I'm not going to get the bonus when I use my uh, last gem here because I'm only making six out of the eight I need. I'll fix that for the next one. Kind of on autopilot and didn't realize I was missing a trainer. <laughs> oh, apparently something came up and Bianca won't be re ready during the stream. As gameplay will either be much later tonight or tomorrow. And do I think you'll be able to get KO? Uh, I can guarantee you, you're gonna get KO as soon as you get enough shards to recruit him. That's when you'll get it. A lot of people got KO, but mostly from uh, when he was the chase or I don't remember what month event it was. But a lot of people get the chase character, so... Usually you'll have a lot more people with the, with the character from that than when it's a character that is released like in pulls and such, because pulls are harder to get than just maxing an MLC. Obviously, depending on your roster and your resources, maxing an MLC is not necessarily easy. But if you're a seasoned player with a faction that complete stuff usually not the hardest thing yeah there was a lot of KO shards that night I normally getting the 3000 shards is easier than getting the 500k to max the event like I had, like even Shamrock last month, I have I had 5,000 shards before I had the 500k to max the event. <laughs> I almost could have recruited him twice before I maxed out the event itself. 
and I am not a huge spender anymore. Like I, I probably wouldn't even qualify as a dolphin. Like I might be like a fat tuna or something like that. Well, not a bluefin because those are fucking huge, but like a river tuna. I was a whale. I'm not a whale anymore. A whale spend thousand. I don't even spend five hundred bucks a month. I do about one or two pulls a month. Whether you believe me or not, I couldn't give a shit about. None of your business anyway. I don't. What money I spend is nobody's business but me and my wife. Uh, we don't know the move yet, Doc Holiday. We haven't seen her. I brought it up. I didn't say I care if people believe me or not. There is much, much more important things in life than whether people believe me or not. <laughs> Let's fix that air now. Is there a good counter for PHKO? Uh, pretty much any character that can kill you turn one, that'll do it. Or a character that can get a uh, submission out on the first turn, that'll get rid of his MP and he won't, he won't be able to do his thing. That's usually, well, that's true for a lot of characters, really. Like, there's a lot of character that can really destroy you pretty fast. Like, KO is OP as hell, but there is a lot of really good fast characters. Definitely not the only one you should uh, be on the lookout for. Like, that's why character that can get a quick sub out. Like, normally those fights are going to, they're not going to be turn one, except, like, if you got a crazy feud bonus and stuff like that, but... Regular gameplay wise, character that can get a quick sub out are rarely going to be super fast, but they will take care of character that would kill you on their first turn. Yeah, MP down coach, uh, that works too. I, I don't like those personally. Like, I hate, I don't like to use defensive build. I like to better my character to get the things done rather than put defensive stuff, especially since defensive stuff you usually have to target one thing specific which means that it won't be useful on all and do you really want to waste time switching trainers and coaches depending on who you're facing if you're feuding you want to go for speed you don't want to waste a minute every time switching stuff so i don't like to use those they are useful those i just don't personally like to use the mp down coach and the the uh, the coaches that will make it so you, like you earn the uh, value of the multipliers, things like that. I just rather kill them faster and they don't get to have a turn. But it's not a bad, it's not a bad technique either. It's just slower. Showboat Gable is so good. I got him. I made him six star bronze two days ago or yesterday. I think I love showboat Gable and that tells a lot because I normally do not like showboats at all apart from a few but I love showboat Gable yeah that's a, like Curry says that is a downside for Gable in fuse since he gets a quick pin uh, 
without taking out all the elves, well, normally that means he's not going to get as much points as others. He's still fun, though. <coughs> How many six star? I, th I think I got six or seven. I can do more. I think I can do two more. Like, I, I can do a trickster, but I don't really have any trickster I want to do. Uh, so I'm not... Like I'm waiting since the six stars don't really uh, six star tokens. They're actually not that easy to get. So I don't really want to use it just because I have him. I'd rather wait for someone I want to use it on. Like I would use it on Thierry, but I'm 10 shards away from getting him. So Kali is great at six star. That'd be surprising because he's really not that great at five star gold. He might be. I haven't looked at him at six star, but I don't like him at five star gold. I can do one, almost two technicians now. Uh, the next one I'm going to be doing, which I, I don't think I even have a technician right now at six star. Uh, it's going to be Triple H, but I got to level him quite a bit to reach that. Uh, yeah, I already got Umaga six star. Because I managed to get him on uh, on his release weekend, so I was able to uh, benefit from the uh, no need for token like three day window we had. Umaga's like Umaga is one of those that really gave me trouble on feud. Well, given that a lot of that was due to dodge. But yeah, Umaga at 6-star was pretty powerful when I faced him. Also, I just learned that the plan right now, which obviously is subject to change, is to release the autoplay and, and the speed up sometime tomorrow. Uh, I don't know, Narwhal. We didn't get one last month. Hopefully we're going to get one this month, but I, I don't have any info about it. Good brothers. <laughs> You're pretty fast, man. They literally just got on TV less than a week ago. <laughs> it takes a lot of time. Like, they got to make the character. Well, obviously, these already have. But normally, often, they're going to be different models. So they got to make models. They got to have the move. They got to do mocap if they don't have the move. I mean, there's obviously a lot that go into making movesets that work. And then all of that needs WWE approval down to the, skin, to the skin color and the size of the nose, which for Triple H is half the face. But yeah, I mean, there's a lot that goes in into making a character, which means it is usually months and months, if not a year, to get a guy going. I don't know if it's still the case these days, but uh, yeah, it's, it used to be about a year to get a character released from when they decided we're gonna make this guy. Uh, no, only did. Oh, and I just realized I'm on the wrong screen right now. That looks better. I have done the blog once. The other I normally do in the second hour. Yeah, Cody was pretty special as far as uh, as the model go. <laughs> definitely looked rush. Uh, yeah, definitely mystical. Obviously, if you got the two gear 
Triple H tech is insane. But even with zero gear, he is. Because the, the first gear you get is actually not for his best moveset. So having just one gear, not that big of a deal. It's kind of cool because it opens up a second moveset. But I still like the first moveset better. So even the first gear won't. Because I do have the first gear, but I don't have the second one. So it's not going to be of any use that I got the first for the moveset I'll be using. But still really, really good. I haven't seen it, Narwhal. I heard about it. Channel points? Well, on, uh, on Twitch, you earn channel points for watching any channel. And then you can cash those in for different stuff. Like, for example, obviously on this channel, it's not a super active channel. So they haven't used them for much. It's the default one, like use 100 to highlight your message stuff like that on my channel there's a bunch of stuff you can do with it i'm assuming the other guys too is jay good for the greens i, I haven't used them so can't say I use KO for any color, <laughs> so. I haven't used Jimmy either. I never use either. What do you mean nothing got champion? Oh, you mean you can't get anything in game? No, that's that has nothing to do. That's Twitch points. That has nothing to do with champion. It's it's just the functionality of Twitch. New play does it is uh, it, it what it makes is that whenever you create you make I don't remember the exact and we'll see it again but I think it's whenever you make X break gems it uh, it increase your gem damage by a hundred percent pretty damn good plate all fame taker is pretty good I like him Pretty unfortunate that there's really not that many Hall of Fame guys that are really good. Uh, I, I'd put him up there with the really good ones. But like, you can cut them. Uh, you can count the good Hall of Fame characters with one end. Uh, even if you're a woodworker that had a couple saw accident with a few fingers. Which tech is best? I don't know if he's the best, but personally, the first one I'm going for is going to be Triple H. Although I I got Razor as a close second. Uh, don't have his gear. But yeah, I'm going Triple H first. I'm really liking Dominic, though. I... I, I'm kind of curious what he could pull out as uh, at six stars, but I mean Dominic, I was really impressed. Like a free guy, a free guy at five star gold without optimal medals and everything, pulling over four million easy at five star gold, free guy. I was pretty impressive. I'm curious to see how good he is at six stars because I mean, if he's doing over four mil with not the best setup, he's got to be doing quite a decent amount at uh, six star.
Yeah, it's pretty strange for all art because like it's been a while since we've seen it. So like for newer player, all art definitely not easy to get these days. But early on when there was barely just a few amount of plates, it was among the easiest one to get. So I probably have like five or six of them, but like I all got them really early when plates were released and I haven't got a single one since. Peak done. <laughs> oh, it's been brought up multiple times. I've seen it in a few conversations over time. Oh no, he, he should, Wood should not even be in that conversation, Lazak. Like, he's not a bad character, he's pretty good, but like, nowhere near what you can do with Gable or Nakamura. And Gable is over Nakamura for sure, too. Reduce red sub turn. I, I, I'd have to look at that. Remember how it, just like that. Yeah, we're going to do the same. Uh, like I always say, King Boxer, the second blog is usually in the second hour. Right now it's 8.56. So it's probably going to be in 15 minutes or so. It is definitely a lot of effort to get the uh, Icon Taker. I think I, I might have... 200 shards or something like that. <laughs> yeah, Gable's better than Nakamura. I mean, Nakamura is really good. Gable's better. Uh, not tonight, Zendel. She won't be ready. Well, not during the stream. She might be ready later on tonight, and I might have time to record something before I go to bed. But, uh... Not during the stream. Won't be ready. KO is good for that because you do a insane amount of damage. While there's always specific thing like break X or Y color of gem and get extra points. The sheer amount of hundreds of millions of damage you do with KO just for the bonus damage outweigh anything you could do to try just to get the correct colors. You're not even gonna come close. And it's even nastier if you got like a crazy plus gem damage belt and fury two medals or even better if you got red running wilds that's even worse well even better but i i don't have any of that my belts are pretty bad pretty much throughout i barely ever get any belts that are above 20 percent I got one set of yellow running wild, that's it. And I'm starting to get a few uh, Fury 2s because they've been giving a few on multiple events now, but uh, not necessarily good ones. My tier 5 medals are really, really, really bad. I probably got 
like as far as tier five go, I probably got 200 or 300 of them. And I add so far two percentage move medals out of those 300, two. And neither of those are fury or armor. So <laughs> ironically, one of them is the yellow running wild. Showdown Boxer. Getting there, getting there. 1690 of 2000. Man, this is taking me forever. To be fair, I didn't do scrimmage for the longest time because I hate it. I got two left out of those, plus Taker that obviously I'll never get. How many shards I got on rain? I don't know. Let's check. Grab this. Probably close to 2,000, I would assume. I know I saw some people get him last week. Uh, right. 2,003. Yeah, I was close. 2,037. I usually get the character somewhere close to the third week. Last month, I don't like I got it at week two. I got it well at the end of week two, or actually, I think it was the first day of week three. That was probably the earliest I ever got one. Got 2018, yeah, pretty close. uh 1200 well we're what we still have two and a half week i i'd say you're probably close to the pace i don't like normally there's even more toward the end like last month i ended up with 5600 i think something like that actually i can check i haven't used any of them after i recruited him He's here. Yeah, 5,664. That's what I got last month. That includes the 800 you get from the poster, though, once you already have it. But yeah, that means like in the last two weeks, I got 2,600. Got 2,230. You're, you're higher than I am. Well, the coins and TP is not where you're going to get most of them. Glue is like you get like 15 and so on that. So you don't get a lot of them. Most of them you're going to get through different stuff. For example, the uh, where are you getting? I think you were getting a bunch from the. Uh, the regular flash market, let me check. Which I haven't maxed yet. There was a lot of those in the. Coin market. Put it on. Oh shit, there's. Oh, yeah. Watch. Is there? Yeah, there's five. Not that much so far. Then 15. There's there, 20. 
You can get a few then. Not a huge amount, but you can get some. There's a 50 in the end. I got to finish that. It's a web coin market, so you can earn those. Not as much as you used to. There's some pretty good deal. Like This one is a bit high for 50. I don't have 11,000, so I can't even get it. But yeah, there's there's obviously some in offers, but I didn't get much offers. Uh, there's some on uh, portal milestones, like for example, if you get the uh, like the ten bucks offer weekly for the backstage pass, you'll get a bunch from that. Pretty sizable amount usually from the backstage pass. Yeah, like Ziamako just said earlier. Backstage Pass gets you a ton of stuff. Lots of event points, lots of, uh, of ray shards, plus it's just 10 bucks. That's probably the best value, the best 10 bucks you could spend on the game. Backstage Pass. Oh no, there's a ton of people that max it without spending, Glue is. It, it's going to depend a lot on your faction, though. If your faction never completes any event, you're fucked. If your faction completes events and are pretty active, you're probably going to be fine. But it, it, it will depend on your... Like, you, you can't max it for free if your faction don't max out events. Uh, well, there's normally z zombie ogan shards pretty much everywhere ebooker uh, ebooker yeah it's it's small amounts of them but they're usually parts of pretty much a lot of offers couple events like for free probably not but there's some there like i'm i'm nowhere near recruiting him myself not even sure i'm halfway there I think I'm pretty low in zombie Ogan shards. That's why I didn't bother to get the 50 shards, because. Yeah, 1281 out of 2000. I mean, I'm more than halfway there, but it's, it's a long way to go for the remaining 800 or 719. Chart packages, oh, I would be surprised. Normally, they, they keep him pretty damn rare. So, I mean, it's not unlikely. I think I saw some packages with like 50 earlier. I'm not sure because I, ne I never buy. I barely ever get. I barely ever buy offers. So, I don't really pay attention much to those. But I think I saw one with 50. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I would be surprised if you ever see anything more than maybe 100. And that would probably be like in a hundred bucks offer or something. For the backstage pass, you don't you can buy it anytime throughout the week, but if you you buy it on the first day, you get three bonus bags. That's a pretty big boost because normally you get seven or eight bags, so you get three extra for free for well, for free. Three extra as you get it on the first day. That's a pretty big deal. Like obviously if you're waiting like for your Thursday paycheck, maybe not. But then again, if you're waiting for your paycheck to buy something that costs 10 bucks, probably better off not spending the 10 bucks in the first place. You maxed a ruby and got uh, 100? Yeah, no. I haven't maxed a ruby in forever. <laughs> Early on, when they were released, I did max a few. But e ever since they went down in uh, in value, I, I haven't... I normally buy... Like, I normally do like 
165 uh, ruby reroll just to get the first milestone and that's it like maybe if i ever get like a pretty good offer in my first one but yeah i i i don't uh, i watch the ruby but i don't use the ruby market much uh i haven't paid attention phenom so i can't say Pretty sure I saw her somewhere, but I don't remember where. Uh, I don't know really the status. Like there used to be tier lists and Gogren, but as far as I'm concerned, they were pretty bad and useless. They were good to track move sets, but as far as rankings, they were way off. And they were usually super outdated. And also, like, another reason why I can't stand tier lists is because they don't really have, like, they don't really, they're usually ranked there if you got all the best thing required. If you don't have the right plate where that guy takes a huge dive, if you don't have the right medals or you're missing X or Y trainer or coach, I mean... There's so many variables that are going to make or break a character that you can't really pay attention to a list much. You can watch preview, whether you like mine or someone else's, don't care. But the previews are going to give you a good idea of who is worth. But there's also no such thing as the best guy at everything now. There's no one best guy. And also, there is a ton of great top guys like... If you don't have the best guy at something, well, there's probably 20 that are pretty damn close in effectiveness as well. There is so many good characters. You don't like you don't you used to like if you if you go back and that's one of the reason why I'm not a whale anymore is because if you go back multiple years, you pretty much had to get that new guy because he was OP. Nowadays, if I don't get the guy, I don't care. Cuz I got like 50 other greats I haven't even started to work on. So I don't care if I don't have the, the latest guy. So there's a ton of options now. You don't need to have everything. Like a lot of them are often going to be more needed as trainers or coaches than they are as characters you're going to be using, even when they're great characters. Am I ever going to do faction boss stream? Fuck no. Never. There's no way I'm going to go through that. I love faction, bo faction boss. I can't stand the fact that you can't lock your lobby. Like You want to do just your match and then you're going to have a headless chicken that's going to join in at the fourth spot. Screwing the match that you're trying to get set up with the three other guy. And you're going to spend an hour just to get that match going because you just have that random dude that keep jumping in. So it is like the matches themselves and like I'm not counting the issues that there is this time. That's just that just makes it worse. But other than that, like the match is going to last like two minutes. Well, maybe three minutes, but you're going to spend 30 minutes trying to get going. <laughs> so as far as streaming go that would be like horrible am i using a filter no that's my normal face usually i got a fake mask on i just took it out just like when you want to air your balls i'm airing my face any de details on the graveyard prize wall i can show you the graveyard prize wall It is not much. Well, there's some good stuff, but it's pretty steep. Uh, let me just get there. When you unlock it, you can have for 20,000 medallions, you can have this guy, which is a token of your choice. 
you have zombie poster for Hogan, 300k, which I'm only at 87. I'm not spending them right now, even though it resets every week. I'm not spending them right now because I actually don't know how much we're going to get every week. So, and if I'm even going to be able to get them every week. Like right now, they're, they're like 11,000 for each uh, 100 bucks offer. I don't remember the different offers that I got there, but yeah, it's, uh, you got you to gotta need uh, quite a few of them. You got the TP and it, you basically unlock a prize wall if you want to spend more money. And since I'm not spending a lot, I don't think I'm going to be anywhere near the 300K I need. So I'm probably going to end up getting resources and stuff like that. Which obviously, spoiler alert, I got dumb five star now because obviously I wouldn't even have access to it if I didn't have dumb at five star. Which reminds me, I got to level him. Actually, I think I leveled him. It's just the move I need to do. Or that'll be easier to get them selected. If you watch my video, I got a four star gold uh, in the key pools, no less, which means I didn't need to use any of my Evo tokens. And they had an offer for 20 bucks. I think it was like that, like 20 bucks, you could get a thousand token. And there was another $10 offer for 50. So that got me the 3000 I needed. Otherwise I never would have made it close to 3000 to make it five star. I haven't filled the star yet. Don't know if I will. Probably could afford to, cause I got a lot of green. Greens and yellow, I got a lot of. All the others, not so much. Well, I won't bore you with leveling the moves. Set with bold gears or Sean Rocker? Sean Rocker, no, not even close. Like you got Sean Rocker right there, and you got Set right there. I mean, Set is not a bad character, but he's not a top character. Not a, not even close with bold gear. Sean Rocker is just like out of this world. All right, let me go grab some water, and we'll go through the blog a second time. All right. Well, like I said, Les, like, he's not a bad character. Especially if you have both gear. He's just not a top character. Uh, he, he's definitely a lot better with Zombie Ray Masked. Uh, I mean, he's still pretty good without, but 
with, and again, it depends what spec you're going to be using. Like, not, you don't need Zombie Ray for all specs with it, and they're all doing pretty good. But like the yellow spec that I like the best with Zombie Ray, it's a hell of a lot better. <laughs> it's actually not makeup. It's a filter. Like, it's a filter for my face. Uh, probably eventually in our wall whenever WWE gives them the license for it again. Sias Yamako. All right, let's have a look at the blog. Let me put it on screen. Not on Z Mankind. Uh, again, not a top guy, but a pretty good one. Which Lashley is the best Lashley? He can get some pretty good damage with the Striker one. I haven't got him high enough to have a lot of experience other than when I did my preview, uh, which was like three matches, four matches. I like Zombie Lash uh, Lashley. He's the zombie I'm using the most. All right, so EST in peace, showdown scrimmage. Hey, champions, after joining the Undead Army, the EST in WWE is now in peace, ready to wield her new Braid Blade against anyone that still has brain. Play showdown and tours to unlock her with shards and milestones and grab bag. Redeem medallions for scrimmage rewards on the prize wall. Please note, screenshots are taken from a test environment, text numbers, and dates are subject to change. Now the schedule, the EST and Peace Showdown scrimmage is on the 14th at noon Pacific until the 17th at noon Pacific. The Showdown tournament, which is going to be female first and male, is going to be on the 15th at noon Pacific until the 16th at 4 p.m. Pacific. The available shards, and again, she's a trickster, by the way. Solo contest as 700 for free, 300 for premium. Limited time tour as 650 for free. Web Milestone has 100 premium, Offer Bag 150 premium, Stamp Card 25 free, 25 in premium, and Flagship Offer is 50, which I don't know if that part means the prize wall, because if it's actually the prize wall, the 50 that are on the prize wall should actually be in the free column, not on the premium, because they're low amount of points and enough that you can get in the free portion. Overall, that's thirteen seventy-five out of sixteen hundred for free, or maybe fourteen twenty-five if I'm right. And on the premium, you got two thousand out of the sixteen hundred. Solo contest: compete in the showdown tournament to earn EST and Peace shard bags, prize wall medallions, and shards for brand new zombie Bianca. Climb higher in milestones for more prize wall medallions, which you can redeem for the new Bianca's braid blade skill plate. Earn all available or regular rewards and enjoy 700 free shards for Bianca Belair EST in peace. Now claim free contest on the portal. That's going to be worth some points. Earn Bianca Belair EST in peace shards in the challenge match. That's going to be worth some points. Spend one EST in peace loot coin, 2750 each. The first one, 27.5k bonus once. Win a EST in peace showdown match with any zombie 15,060 time, any powerhouse 13,020 times, any striker 13,020 times, any trickster 13,020 times, with Rhea Ripley recurring nightmare 7,010 times, Roman Reigns this is my graveyard 7,010 times, Asuka Empress of yesterday 7,010 times, Stacy Keebler Super Stacy. 13.5k five times. Mankind, it came from the boiler room 13.5k five times. And the Unmortal Hulk Hogan 13.5k five times. And again, remember, you can double and triple dip on those 
for example Asuka as a striker as well and a zombie so that means you get all three counted in one fight so that's usually what you want to do earn showdown coins 15 point each no limit or on early unlock bonus recruit bianca belair est in peace first 24 hours 500k once and a max milestone 6 million regular rewards free est oh there you go we got an our answer for from earlier the basic bags are 25 not 20. three est and peace premium bags those are the ones with 100 16 basic bags with the 25s 75 bobby lashley dominator shards which was last month scrimmage superstar 11,185 est and peace scrimmage medallions 300 dominic mysterio evo tokens 50 Rey Mysterio Mascara de la Muerte shards, 4,775 Undead Uprising solo points, 3,125 Undead Uprising keys, two five star diamond tokens, three five star gold tokens, three five star silver tokens, three four star gold tokens, 11,150,000 coins, and 530 TP. The additional rewards achieve these milestones reward exclusively by spinning the loot 225 bobby lashley dominator shards 120,000 est and peace scrimmage medallions three est and peace premium bags 22 five star emerald tokens 16 five star gold tokens two five star silver tokens 15 four star gold tokens 50 million coins and 3.7 thousand tp All the scrimmage characters, although a uh, racer, even if you don't get them on the first month, you can get their shards on the next month and on the next month and on the next month, and you can get them for free eventually just by getting their shards every month. So those are the easiest guys you can get for free, and they're usually pretty good too. Like the scrimmage event is literally the only one you can get the character for free. Just not on the first month. Unless you're lucky with a bag. Top 200 leaderboard reward. One up to five star silver Bianca Belair EST and P's for the top 20. 1000 Bianca Belair EST and P's shards. Five five star emerald tokens. Three legendary modern strap with guaranteed bonus. Two random legendary straps with eye bonus chance. And 15 million coins. Oh, that's not how freemium games work, Racer, so you can forget about that. <laughs> Action Contest. Play the Limited Time Tour and town up your superstars for EST and P's bag and a chance at top zombies and humans. Contest points and resources. Playing free contest point every day on the portal. That's going to be worth some points. Play the Limited Time Tour for more faction points. That's going to be worth something as well. Spend one L pack. That's one point with a limit of 100k. Increase down of any zombie. That's four points with a limit of 500k. Increase the talent of any trickster. Two point each, no limit. Collect an EST prize wall medallion. One point, no limit. And a max milestone is 10 million. Rewards 11 EST in peace contest chess. 500k EST in peace contest solo points. Three random legendary straps with eye bonus chance, 1,790 undead uprising solo points, 8,435 undead uprising faction points, 200 undead uprising prize wall coins, one five star diamond tokens, one five star gold token, one five star silver token, 4.3 million coins, and 200 TP. The top 100 leaderboard reward three legendary modern era strap with guaranteed bonus. Five five star emerald tokens, five random tier four medals. Limited time tours. Complete the chapters in this limited time tour to earn Bianca Belair EST in peace. Actually, let me reload if they fixed it. Yeah. 
Complete the chapters in this limited time tour to earn Bianca Belair EST and Peace shards, grab bags, solo and faction contest points, tokens, and resources. If you clear everything, you can get 650 shards of Bianca Belair EST and Peace, including grab bags. Friday, the challenge match. Same difficulty for all modes. Bianca Belair EST in Peace for normal. Any zombie on art and Rhea Ripley recurring nightmare on L. So they fixed those. Friday, Dead Walking, Sasha Banks, Legend Dead Bus, Stacy Keebler, Sta Super Stacy. Saturday, The Hordes Return for Zombie, Dominic Mysterio, Unfortunate Son. And Sunday, Heartbreak Couples, Modern Era with Annie Montez Ford and Annie Bianca. Rewards, 200 Bianca Belair EST and Peace Shards, 3 EST and Peace Premium Bags, 6 EST and Peace Basic Bags, 300k EST and Peace Solo Points, 51,003 EST and Peace Faction Points, 7,422 Undead Uprising Faction Points, 2,985 Undead Uprising Solo Points, 1 6 star Bronze Tokens, 3 5 star Emerald Tokens, 1 5 star Diamond Token, 3 5 star Gold Token, 2 4 star Gold Tokens, 3 4 star Silver Tokens, 7,131,875 Coins, and 330 TP. Now the Showdown Scrimmage Shop. Redeem your medallions for superstar shards you might have missed in previous scrimmage contests. It helps if it helps you unlock superstars to get specific tier shards for a six star conversion. Collect enough medallions in the solo contest milestones to get the brand new Bianca Braid Blade Skill Plate. Here you got all the past scrimmage skill plates too. Got the new one there too. The 50 Bianca shards are at 23.6k. Don't know how many you get. That's probably what I'll go for because I'll probably won't have 100k. You can get Bobby if you were short last month, or the others if you were short the previous months. There's shards for Bianca Belair EST in peace. Bobby Lashley Dominator, British Bulldog SummerSlam 92, Jimmy Uso Bloodline, Ronda Rousey Baddest, Sheamus King Sheamus, and Carmella Untouchable. Skill Plate, the new Bianca Braid Plate is whenever you make six or more X Break Gems, increase all your gem damage by 100% for two turn. That's pretty damn good. Bulldog Bracer, really good for Lashley. I wish I had that one specifically for Zombie Lashley. I don't, unfortunately. The Uso Cap, the Dead Man's Sigil, and the Mela Mask, which I still don't have anyone to use it on. The items, you also have a 6-star Bronze Token, Coins, Trickster Token Bundle, Legendary Zombie Straps Chance Bonus, and Legendary Zombie Straps Guaranteed Bonus. And a 5-star Gold Loot with the Zombiest Loot Await. You get brand new Bianca Belair at 5-star Gold, along with other beautiful undead and human superstars, such as Triple H, the Skull King, Stacy Keebler, Super Stacy, Mankind, it came from the boiler room, and many more. And there will be exclusive offers on the portal. Earn awesome bonus rewards in the EST and Peace contest. Every one that are spent rewards, progress toward amazing milestone rewards, get up to 68 million bonus coins, 2 6 star bronze token, 200 Ken Shamrock, Master of the Ankle Lock Shard, which I assume they probably meant Ray, or maybe not. We'll see. Four total domination bags and more. And eventually there will be a forum giveaway probably posted tomorrow, I assume. Apparently, Bianca should be live. We'll go see that.
Oh, and there she is. All right, model looks cool. Oh, you do see the blade here. You see that blade here on the braid. Pretty cool. Look what she does. Uh, 26k moves and gems, trap, condom, blah, blah, blah. That generate red gem will create three more red gems. Increase kick out damage done by gem. All right, so it's another one, another one of those, but this time for red. So basically a better Hall of Fame leader that also works on generated stuff and not just on moves. Links with the zombies and modern era. Oh shit, that cracked bad. All right, let's have a look at the move. The spinning saw splash, 10 MP, purple move, finisher deals, 274k damage choose six x break gems to destroy and pin the opponent the deadliest spear 4 mp red move deal 57k damage and make the bottom three rows into x break gems the back alley body drop 7 mp yellow move deal 84.5k damage and choose a 2x3 area to make into trap gems if broken by you if broken by your opponent, deals 502,000 damage. And if he breaks all six, that's a lot of damage right there. The zombie attack, eight MP purple move, submission, generate 15 random submission gems and do 125.5K damage for three turns. All submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining sub gems turn into egg break gems. That's a pretty strong submission. Broken Wing Slam, 8 MP Red Move, deal 91k damage and choose 6 gems to make into purple. The Full Moon Assault, 7 MP Yellow Move, deal 84.7k damage and make 6 track gems, 6 trap gems into purple. And the Braid Blade Slash, 9 MP Purple Move, deal 114k damage plus 11.1k uh -huh, uh, bonus damage. For every X break gems. All right, that looks pretty good. And apparently, the six star move is going to be a bleed move. All right, what do we start with? This should work pretty well with this. Bottom rows into X break. Obviously, this is probably going to be even better. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious, uh, what's the max on that six-star move, too? Uh, how high does that bleed get? The red move. So making the three bottom rows into X will work pretty well with this. Two six to make into purple. That'll give you your purple you need. Hell, you might even not need the finisher, really, because you make the bottom row into X break, and then you just put your two six on that three rows. You're probably going to bring most of those three rows anyway, and you're probably not going to need the finisher. Probably going to go with this instead. Pretty sure I'm not going to need the finisher to blow all those three. And this is going to give me 11k for every of those X. And we're going to have 21 out of this. Not a super high amount, but I mean, it's more damage. Those three should work well together too. There's going to be a bunch. All right, let's put some trainers now.
Uh, do I want to make more purple or do I want to increase the damage of X break? Or even a painter? I know there was a coach. Oh, 40%. Yeah. I mean, it's still 40%. Is it like 50 at 15k maybe? Forty-five at fifteen K. I make him no. I would need to make him five star. Yeah, that's not. I think I'm just gonna make more purple. More chance to be sure that you're breaking all of them. Well then again probably I probably don't. Now let's leave let's leave that. I'll test and check. Uh, same as the other zombies we just add, like increase the the gem generated, but for the reds. There's pins which had twenty two hundred. Sure, we can do better than that. Isn't there a percentage one for X gems? There you go. Omas. And what can I? I think I'm going to add uh, Santa Ogan just because all the gems are going to do 2200 more. They send the plate. Yep, you got the plate. He'll be able to test that. I'll probably test with and without the plate because that's probably going to do a pretty sizable difference. But that answers what plate I'm going to try first. <laughs> uh, which Nine. Yep, that's the preview one. No, female first, male second. Okay, uh, I'll go for a purple move damage. Fury one? I think I don't even have a purple one if I remember what. Oh, no, that's a flat. Huh. I guess we'll go with that because I don't have a percentage one. <laughs> We're not going to have time to try that uh, with that. And my warrior is pretty low because he sucks. So I, I never leveled them. Hey, Sebastian.
I think my water is like four star gold or four star silver or something like that. Uh, there's 80 in the event, I believe. And I think there's 50 on the prize wall, something like that. Or was it more than 80? I don't remember. Do I have an armor that is something that is available that I don't need to break from anywhere? Not. Normally, I'd probably go with Fury and not armor. But I don't have a Fury uh, move medal available. Or are you, oh, you're talking about Acro Warrior. I thought, I thought you were talking about the uh, Showboat Warrior. Yeah, Acro Warrior is good. Showboat and Powerhouse Warrior, not so much. Acro Warrior is good, yeah. No, Showboat Warrior is not X, it's, it's, uh, it's uh, cross breaks. Clipped on it. One. Clip on either. Try that out. Probably won't have time to try that many. But we should still be able to do a couple matches. I'll have a full on preview. Well, now that I got her, probably later tonight. Although it's probably going to take me a while because making a preview takes a long time. <laughs> Takes a few hours. All right, that works. All right, let's record that. All right, first move set we'll have a look at. Great Blade Slash, 9 MP purple move, deals 114k damage plus uh, 11,001 bonus damage for every X Break Gems. The Deadliest Spear, 4 MP red move, deal 57k damage and made the bottom three rows into X Break Gems. The Broken Wing Slam, 8 MP red move, deal 91.5k damage and choose 6 gems to make into purple. Trainers for that, we're going to use a Butch so that red move can start with four more MP. I'm putting Unky Tonk Man here, adding 40% damage to the X gem, thus also the move damage here. Uh, he can go up to 50% if you get him higher. Mine's just not high enough. Uh, I got Omas for 100% extra X break gem damage, and I put in Ogan here. Don't care about the extra 1 MP, it's more about the 2200 more damage for any color gem. Since we're going to be breaking a lot of gem, we want every color to be boosted. This one we're going to try with the brand new plate, which is whenever you make 6 or more X break gems, increase all of your gem damage by 100% for 2 turns. I do have two armors and I do have two furies. You know what? I don't really care about the armor. Let's just switch the armor for just all fury. And it doesn't matter if it doesn't boost by much. The move, I don't care. I'd rather have the gem do 20% more damage than the move having an extra 50k anyway. Let's just put all fury. Through the move damage. Let's do this.
Uh, yeah, I do, Benny. I'll give it to you in like 10 minutes. Okay, so... I can make six of those. This will give me the purple I need. This will break all the gems. Because you need that, you need those purples for two reasons. You need them to break all the X's that you're going to be making, but you also need them to get that move ready also. So you got to place them accordingly. Now we're going to use that 26k for each. Oh, that's pretty good. That looks like a Mortal Kombat move. Who's the... Who's a character that has, like, the hair with that can slice you in Mortal Kombat? I remember that from a character. And now we're gonna break that. That breaks the whole board. one2 mil. I kind of expected it would have done more. It's gonna be enough, but I would have expected more than 1.2 million. Sindel, yeah, that's what I was talking, thinking about. Try that without the I probably want to put it purple then I guess that opposite of that. Oh. Maybe more X's? That would be that would work nice. All right, let's try the exact same thing, except I replace the super rare plate with the DX plate. Which is not going to be much of a factor in. We'll go with cheap shot. Same thing here. Set the ones to break those X's. Use those to get more purple and just replace a loot box by color gem. Oh, come on, it put them on the spots I'll be replacing anyway. Now we got two extra. Now they're not really gonna help to break more because we're already breaking 
the whole board, but at least like those do a little more 31k instead of 18, 26 instead of. But yeah, the, I, the DX plate is a really, really minor addition to this. One point zero million. I'm kind of surprised it's that high, because the other one w was what one point two with the plate, one without. Kind of would have expected a bigger difference. All right, let's look at something else. Uh, well, it's probably more based on the colors of the gems that were there. Blog should be posted in five minutes. It's always scheduled for 10 p.m. Eastern. Mm. Here. Here. Uh, submission. Drops uh, into purple. If broken by you, what? It says what it does if the opponent breaks it. It doesn't say what it. Hold on. Oh, apparently they fixed the tooltip. Mm. See what it says now. There you go. If broken by you, deal zero damage and make seven random gems into X break gems. If broken by your opponent, deals 502k damage. All right. Oh, let's try that. This time we're going to need yellow. Where you get the art plate, the all art, the one for some uh, for uh, sub gems, uh, it hasn't been available in quite a while. So right now, who knows? Maybe it, it'll be back in circulation. Early on, there was a lot of them. Uh, back when there wasn't many plates, it was one of the more common ones. But it's been quite a while since we've seen any of them. And make six traps, and so we don't really need to boost that because it's already making a two by three. We could boost the damage of the submission, I guess, because there's. I mean, again, we could try to boost the gem damage too. So we'll leave Ogan there for that. Depends for what moveset, Narwhal. Like the Z-Plate would be a good one. The Z-Plate uh, is still available now. That one uh, makes it so 
your gem do 50% more damage, I believe, when you make countdown gems. Yeah, Z plate would be a good option too. It's just that it adds 50% instead of the 100% that you get from the uh, from the all art plate, but still pretty sizable amount. Uh, this won't change anything. So it's either you boost the submission or you boost the overall. Damage. So I guess we'll boost the submission, and I'm I don't really want to extend the amount of turns that it that the purple is doing just because it's going to destroy more but brock is going to extend both anyway because brock does both three turns i believe and 20 percent and i could go with a 50 percent but no turn but as well get both bonuses get three turn and 20 percent mm. And I guess we'll get an extra turn from Mr. Amaya Villa, High Chief. Do I want to... You know what? Let's get rid of Ogan and let's add Nikki while we're at it. I got a feeling most of the time my damage is going to come from that submission anyway. Yo, another 50. Now we got a submission that lasts seven turns and it's going to do 207. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. 276k per turn for seven turns. Pretty good amount. Now I wouldn't use the I wouldn't use the uh the plate here, although you're you are breaking them yourself, so the plate could still work there. Because you're making a two by three into traps, then you're converting them into purples. Doing that will break them, which means you're pretty much gonna make the whole board into X break. You can go with the all art. All art is going to boost two of your colors, so that's a good option. So I guess we'll we'll try the all art, all art first, and then we'll try with the the new plate. All art will boost the green and the purple for a hundred percent. No, because it still happens at the same time. So it's it, I, I'm pretty sure it would only count as one because they all happen at the same time. It's not doing it six times. All right, second move set. Zombie attack, eight MP purple move submission, generate 15 random submission gems and do 125.5K damage for three turns all submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining sub gems turn into X break gems. The full moon assault 7 MP yellow move deal 84.7k damage and make six trap gems into purple gems. And the back alley body drop 7 MP yellow move deal 84.5k damage and choose a 2x3 area to make into traps. If broken by you, deal zero damage and make seven random gems into X break gems. If broken by your opponent, deals 502k thousand damage. For that, we're going to use Kofi to start with more yellow. And the rest is all about the submission damage. We've got Zombie Brock, Peter Mayavia, and Nikki adding 20, 50, and 50%. So 120% and four extra turns. Making it 276k per turn for seven turns. 
Now, first we're gonna try this with the all art plate, which is whenever you generate three or more sub gems, increase your green and purple by 100%. That's gonna be two colors right there out of the six. And the board is gonna be flooded with uh, a bunch of X gems to begin with. We will try that with the Bianca plate after, but let's try it this way first. Yes. That. Convert it into purple. Nine sixty nine sixty six. Okay. Oh shit. I kind of built this so that all the damage comes from the submission and we did not even get to use the submission. <laughs> Alright, let's try that again. We're going to put it here so it doesn't connect with anything else. Oh, green, we're going to connect anyway. God damn it. Oh, and she's kicking out this time. That didn't work well. And I can break that. Well, that's gonna suck. can get yellow so this match is never gonna end so let's not waste 10 minutes on that I got a bunch of stuff to try. We're like 15 minutes into trying. <laughs> oh, well, there's a lot of purple here. That's not going to turn out too well. Here, maybe.
There you go. Oh, we're gonna lose most of them anyways. The mission's gonna do a ton of damage, and the downside is that you're pretty much like dead in the water after that. I don't like that much. I would probably use with the two yellows instead the uh, the move that you get uh, damage based on the amount of X gem you got that we used earlier. Because the whole board was X's, so that would work a lot better. And it's a purple move too. But the submission really doesn't work that well with this. like that I'm not even gonna try it with the uh, plate I'll try it with the plate with the other purple instead but yeah anyway I got a lot more stuff to try out for that preview we're out of time for this stream so that's gonna be it for uh, that I'll be able to do a proper preview with my graphics and everything uh, for the rest of it so thanks for watching guys. Let's go see if we got anyone that we can go raid. streaming champion no one streaming champion well no raids so that's gonna be it for tonight guys thanks for watching i will see you uh, i don't know if i'm going to be streaming tomorrow i know i will on saturday though so either tomorrow or saturday thanks guys g out ciao